On the Christmas holidays, suddenly we decided to make small trip, and we chose Tampere as our destination. The city is famous as the most desirable and high-ranked place to live in Finland. It's the third largest city in the country and the largest in one center in all Nordic countries. Let's check how things are going there. Maybe the Christmas holidays is not the best time to visit this city, cause usually everything is closed on holidays. But, you know, we are not those guys who love museums, galleries and so on. In urban traveling we love watching cityscapes, walking streets, tasting food and exploring how good the city is for living. And believe me, Tampere can impress you. So, our train has arrived, let's go! It was Saturday morning and the train from Helsinki to Tampere was fully empty. Seems we were the only people in the train. Well, in that moment we started to doubt whether it was a good idea to make the trip in that time. The road took us about an hour and a half, and we arrived to Tampere at 9 am. The morning in city met us with empty streets and Christmas decorations. It was still dark, so we went looking for a coffee shop to wait until dawn. Happily, the best donut cafe in the city, called Punikin Monkey Kahvila, was open. This family-run cafe has been operating for over 20 years already, and it still stays among the favorite coffee shops in town. A lot of locals come here for the best freshly baked traditional monkey, which means donuts in Finnish. They are a bit different from standard donuts, but very tasty. Actually, if you are visiting Finland, you should definitely try a local bakery. Also, the cafe has friendly atmosphere and peaceful view on a forest from the windows. After tasting sweet donuts, our doubts about the trip were gone and we headed to explore the city. The best way to do this is of course looking from above. Hopefully, the cafe is placed right in an old observation tower that is famous for its incredible use on the entire Tampere city. A little tip, you can use the elevator to climb up on it, but we don't like the easy ways, we used stairs. The tower is located at the highest point on Puniki Ridge, the biggest gravel ridge formed by Ice Age in the world. From this viewpoint you can explore the landscape of Tampere. The city was situated on a narrow isthmus between two great lakes and the rapids flowed just through the city center. Satisfied with youths, we moved to the most colorful part of the city. Our route went through forest, and it was so beautiful walking on snowy trails among pine trees. Sometimes we stopped to enjoy another beautiful view. Soon we reached one of the prettiest places in Tampere, Peace Power. It's a unique architectural area of small wooden houses on the slope of the ridge. In the past, Peace Power was inhabited by railroad and factory workers, and the area itself was considered very unfavorable. 
and even people of Tampere didn't want to accept the area as a part of its territory. But those days are gone. Now it's a cozy area with narrow streets and colorful houses. Many well-known Finnish artists and celebrities have lived or lived there. And I can only end with them for the magnificent use from their windows. Also, here is located the oldest working public sauna in Finland. As the Finnish saying goes, in the sauna everyone is equal. Tampere is known as the sauna capital of the world, because it has the largest number of public saunas in Finland. But we weren't gonna visit sauna that day. Instead, we explored the old town of Tampere. This is a place where it all began for the city and for the Finnish industrialism. Finnish first electric light was lit there, in the cotton factory on the banks of rapids. In the past, Tampere was the most important industrial city in Finland, but now it is known as a modern city of technology, often going in the forefront of development. All these red factory buildings here are now reinstated as offices and places of culture. However, let's try to figure out why Finns would love to prefer Tampere for living before other Finnish cities. Well, Tampere is a city of the right size. It has everything you need in a small area. The city has a lot of fun and many things to do. It's surrounded by beautiful nature and has a perfect scale for outdoor activities. People are friendly and open-minded perhaps due to the city student culture. Also, Tampere is the place of innovation and technology, as well as that of culture and theater. At the same time, Tampere has lower housing prices compared with other cities in Finland. The only bad rated thing in Tampere is weather. Yeah, that is Finnish reality. But if you are like me and prefer snowy winters instead of hot summers, that's not going to be a problem for you. Back to our journey. It was coming to an end when suddenly we had a surprise that we didn't expect. At nightfall there began the Christmas magic. Thank you all for watching this video and supporting me. I am happy to share my video projects with you. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I am posting my photos and some updates there. I wish you all the best. See you soon. Bye.